Hello everybody and welcome to our Friday celebration worship assembly. The candle is lit because Jesus is the light of the world and God is all around us. Okay, let's start our assembly with our value certificate. Now I know you've all been showing some fantastic values, but these are the children that have stood out to their teachers. Okay, we'll start off with reception and year one. So Mrs Price, Mrs Cox and Mrs Shields have decided to give the value certificate this week to Libby. Well done, Libby. And it's for the value of enthusiasm. Now, Libby, your teachers tell me that you try really hard in every activity and you've always got a big smile on your face. Now, I also have heard that you have a go at everything. So well done, Libby. We are very, very proud of you. You keep going with that enthusiasm. Okay, class two. So Miss Llewellyn and Mrs Wood have decided to give their value certificate for the value of responsibility. Now I would completely agree with the teachers with this because this person, well, this, this member of the class, I know, is a very responsible member of the class and it goes to Ruby. Well done Ruby and actually Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn have put for always working hard and being a responsible and reliable member of the team. Well done Ruby, we're so proud of you. Okay, Mrs Holcomb has given her value certificate for the value of enjoyment. Now She's decided to give her value certificate to Sophie. Well done, Sophie. Now, what Mrs Holcomb has said is for always coming to school with a smile on her face and an extremely, she's such an extremely cheerful member of the class. How wonderful to always see you there in the morning. First thing, Sophie, with a big smile on your face. Good girl, and I know you always work extremely hard. Well done, sweetheart. Okay, year five. Mr Fletcher has given his value certificate for the value of creativity, and he's given it to Poppy. Well done, Poppy. Now, he says for showing great imagination in her extended writing. I cannot wait to read your writing, Poppy. I'll be coming next week to make sure that I read it, all of it, because it sounds wonderful. Well done, Poppy. Very proud of you. And then Mrs Mills in Year 6 has given her value certificate for dependability. And she's given it to Alex. Well done, Alex. And Mrs Mills has said that you complete every task to the best of your ability. You are a very, very dependable member of the class. So well done to all those children. Let's give you a huge, huge clap. Okay, I now have some house point badges to give out. So I'm going to start with the bronze badge and that means that these children have earned 50 house points for their house teams. So the children who have achieved a bronze house point badge, I'm going to start off with year two and these children are Mallory and Imogen. Well done Mallory and Imogen and also achieving their bronze house point badge from year three, four is Monty, Oscar and Thomas. So let's give them all a big clap. Golden bronze house point winners. But now we have silver house point badges to give out. So I'm going to start off with year reception one and these children have earned their silver house point badge, meaning they have got 100 house points for their team. Okay, so it is for Libby, Louisa and Oscar in reception year one. In class three, four, we have Sophie, Beatrice and Lucy. And then in class six, we have Seb, Alex and Ruby. Well done to you all. Let's give them a huge clap. 
Now we have some gold house point badge winners. Now this means that these children have earned a hundred and 50 points for their house team. So, the gold winners are from reception class one, Casey, Daisy and Flory. And then we also have a gold house point winner from class six, and that is Harry White. So well done to you all. Let's give them a really big round of applause. Well done to those children achieving their house point badges. Now we have more to celebrate. I want you to watch this next clip because it's about children in our school who are achieving things in and outside of school. We are very proud of you all. Here at Gillsborough we celebrate all achievements that our children do whether it's in school or outside of school. So I'm going to start with Katie and Evie in year six who have achieved a swimming achievement and the level one gold lifeguarding award. So well done, Katie and Evie. I know that that's not easy. Now, we also have in class three, four, Oscar, who achieved the midfield boss award, which is the most improved player. And he plays for West Haddon Rhinos. Well done, Oscar. That trophy looks brilliant. Good boy. Now we also have Oscar, Cooper, Lucy and Matilda who have achieved their pace setters awards. Well done to everybody. We are really, really proud of you all. Let's give them all a big, big clap. Well done to everybody who has achieved something this week. Now it's time for our Bible story. So you need to listen very carefully. It's from the New Testament and it's called Paul Meets Jesus. Enjoy. Paul meets Jesus. There was a light, a light so dazzling bright it made the sun look pale. Paul put up his hands to hide his face. The light hurt his eyes. He could not see. Then he heard a voice. Paul, Paul, why are you being so cruel to me? Tell me who you are, Paul said. I am Jesus, answered the voice. Paul was on his way to the city of Damascus. He was an enemy of the friends of Jesus. He did not believe that Jesus was God's promised king. He did not believe that Jesus was alive again. But he must be, Paul said, when he heard Jesus' voice. I was wrong, he thought of all of the cruel things he had done to the friends of Jesus. He was very, very sorry. Go into the city, Jesus said to Paul, and I will tell you what to do. Paul still could not see. Someone had to lead him by the hand. Jesus sent Ananias to see Paul. He's not an enemy anymore, Jesus said. Paul is going to tell everyone about me. That's a hard job, but I have chosen him for this special work. Ananias put his hands on Paul's eyes and Paul could see again. He was so glad. So Paul became a friend of Jesus. God sent his special helper to be with him. And Paul told everyone he met that Jesus was alive. Paul was the cruel enemy of the friends of Jesus, people said. But now he's telling us all to be Jesus's friend. Okay, it's that time for house points. Now, I know that Air was in the lead last week. Who will be in the lead this week? We only have two weeks left before we decide who is the winner of our summer term house point treat. We'll reveal what the treat is in a couple of weeks when we know who the winners are. Okay, fingers crossed everybody. So earth, 
air, fire and water. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, house points this week. Now I know reception year one have given in some very high numbers today. So let's see how fire, air, earth and water are doing. So fire, how are you this week? You are on 379. That's a lot of points earned this week. So air, how are we doing? 382, there's only three points between you all. How are Earth doing now? Earth were big scorers from foundation stage reception year one. Let's see, Earth are on 388. Earth are in the lead. And water, how are you doing? Let's see. Water 369, so a little catching up to do water, but it's all still to play for. You're all very, very close. So good luck, everybody. Keep on getting those house points. Oh my, it's really, really close. I can't wait to see who wins this in the next two weeks. Okay, it's now time for our reflection. So I'm going to hand over to Katie, who is saying a prayer about generosity, which is our value this half term. If you would like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end. Dear Lord, help us to be generous and do all good we can, by all the means we can, in all the ways we can, in all the places we can, at all the times we can, to, to all the people we can, as long as ever we can. Amen. Thank you, Katie. We've now come to the end of our assembly. So it's time to say to everybody, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's a very special day on Sunday. Sunday as is known as Father's Day. Now it's a time to celebrate the male role models in your life. Okay, now this can be anybody. It can be your dad, it can be your granddad, it can be your uncle, it can be your dad's friend, it can be your mum's friend, it can be anybody who is a role model to you and who is male. So, enjoy celebrating this weekend. Please stay safe. And I'm going to say the Lord be with you. And I'm now going to hand over to Reverend Nat. So please sing, join in with the actions and enjoy. Take care, everybody, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye. So let's find some space now as we use our words and our bodies to sing our worship song. I'm going to jump up and down. Let's sing now. Can do all things through Christ's strength.
such a love when you got not a love what be happy